up guys so this device right here I just showed you this can save your life if you are lost in the woods now a fire is a pretty big priority so is water and so is shelter but do you really want to be out here forever most people don't some people do most people don't this little device fits in your wallet fits in my wallet all I gotta do is use this device now you have to use it when it's good and sunny Otherwise, it's not going to work. But this little right mirror right here. Can be seen from over 50 miles away. Now the average rescue helicopter will fly at about 500 feet altitude. Um, and that's a really good distance to be able to see uh, details on the ground. But you're not so close that your, your field of vision is narrowed. So, with this being able to be seen from that distance, you have a very powerful tool as long as it's sunny. Now, if it's cloudy or if it's dark, you're going to have to use fire or smoke to attract yourself. Or um, a flashlight or strobe light. So, this is going to be a part of a multi-video series where I'm going to be exploring multi different forms of rescue tactics. And the first one is this mirror ray. So, when you're using this device... There's a certain way you're supposed to use it. Now, in order to aim this and hit what you're aiming at, you need to have a crosshair, in a sense. So, you got the sun coming in from right here. Now, you can actually use this mirror in a full degree against the sun. So, what is it, 180 degrees? 180 degrees to the sun. So, the sun's here. I can hit a target over here. And I can hit a target over here. So I'm in the sun a little bit right here. So all you're going to do is you're going to make a little Y. A little Y with your fingers like this. And all you're going to do, stretch your arm out. So all you're going to do is you're just going to put the between here and here on your fingers over your target. So you want your target right here in your uh, fingers. And you're just going to flash right there. Ups and down, side to side. Just keep doing that. As long as that's over your target, you will hit it. And trust me, it's extremely obvious to the pilot, to the drone, or to the personnel on another mountain that there is something there. And especially considering it's a repetitive thing, you will uh, be very much unnoticed. All right, y'all. So thank y'all for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, got any questions, throw, shoot in the comments. I may not always get back to you. I get a lot of comments on my videos nowadays. But um, I'll try and get back to you. Remember, this is going to be a part of a multi-video series exploring rescue tactics for those of you lost in the wilderness. Alright, I'll see you all in the next video.